No. <laughs> Howdy folks. Bonus video. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I did one of these stray videos. I thought uh, it was high time I got back into things. Uh, Sundays are really the only days that I can push these out, so I'm sure you're not going to complain at having a bonus video on a Sunday. And yes, that is Juzi in the background who's demanding attention, and she's getting very jealous because I'm paying way much attention to the cat on the computer screen. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, Juzi, no, I, I still love you, Juzi. You're you're the only ginger cat in my life, honest. I promise. Pay no attention to ginger on the PC. Anyway. So, we're looking for notebooks for Momo. And I think I've got three of the four, so I just need to figure out where the fourth one is. Come on then, Ginger. Yes, I know, you're a hard-working kitty. No time for sleeps. So, there is a, a marker. That sort of blue sign up there, next to the lift. That indicates where the four outsiders used to live in the slums, and that's where I'm going to find their notebooks. That's the outsider symbol, so I need to follow that. Like I said, I think I've got three of the four, so one more to go. So, this final one is a little tricky, because I can't get directly into the apartment from the balcony. Instead, you have to come up here and mess around with the ventilator. This is the ventilation power supply. I'm just pulling out the battery or possibly it's a fuse, whatever. There's no power going to the ventilator once you've pulled this out. And then you can just drop down through the fan. Like so. So somewhere in here, I should find the fourth and final notebook. Ooh, boxes. I can't help but feel that the game is really missing an opportunity here. With cats and boxes. You know what cats are like with boxes. I've bought my cats all manner of toys and stuff to play with. Ooh, can drink it like sometimes. And uh, they ignore the toys and they just play in the boxes that they came in. Now there's boxes all over this place. And there's been boxes all over the game, but I haven't really had the opportunity to get into a box. What's this? Scratchy, scratchy. Up you go. Ah, uh, that'll be the exit. Or an exit. Okay. Well, I still haven't found the notebook that's in here. Somewhere. So yeah, I can't help but feel that the developers missed a bit of a trick there for some cat in box comedy moments. Maybe I have to knock wait, I can get onto the shelf. Is there anything up? No, I can just knock the things off the shelf. Well that's very cat like I have to admit, but it's not helping me find any notebooks. Where is it? Oh, something down there. In the box. There it is. Right, that's all four of the notebooks, and apparently it includes some way of fixing something called the transceiver. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what a transceiver is. It's a combination transmitter and receiver. It's a piece of radio equipment. But, um, yeah. What it is in the game, I have no idea. So, back to Momo, and let's give them the good news. Turns out the transceiver is a radio transmitter receiver. Unlike this, which is just a radio receiver. 
How am I? Uh oh. Is this another? Because I mean, you saw the transceiver. It's bigger than me. <laughs> I mean, how am I carrying it up to the top of that building over there? Um, yeah, this is one of those adventure game things where it doesn't pay to ask too many questions. Guybrush Threepwood could carry anything in his pockets, and so can Ginger. What do you mean, who's Guybrush Threepwood? Wow, kids these days. What do they teach you at school? The Secret of Monkey Island. One of the best adventure games ever written. Right, anyway, so. Ooh. New area, the rooftops. Oh shit, there's zerglings everywhere. Oh, this is not going to be good. No, Ginger. Ignore the rug. This is not time for sleeping. Right. I do not like the look of that. I suppose being able to go around would be wishful thinking. Is there anything around here before I commit to... Oh shit, here they come. <laughs> Run, Ginger! Run for your life! And up. You can't jump very high, thankfully. Right, now what? Some over there as well. Uh, ah, hang on a minute, there's a beam in the middle. So if I attract them and then run across, they obviously can't follow me over the beam, and then I can get up here. Alright, that was fairly straightforward. Now where are we going? Jump onto that pipe, onto the ventilator. Can I make that? Yes, I can make that jump. Oh, is that a memory? Let's check the memory out. I've almost certainly missed some, but I'm trying to get as many as I can. Probably some kind of collectible. Twenty-five percent complete. Wow. I've definitely missed some. Anyway, where to now? Climb up? No? Which way am I going? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's not swinging far enough. Can I... Uh... Oh, yeah, jump onto that. Jump onto the beam again, maybe? Have my momentum carry me? Yes. Alright. Now where are we going? So... Ooh, I don't like the look of that. What's this barrel for? I'm supposed to roll it somewhere. Maybe over here, in order to get... up? Nope. Nope, that's not it. Oh wait, I think I get it. Right. There's another one of those swinging beams. So, move the barrel. Wait, no, further than that. Move the barrel up to the railing, which should stop it from going over, and then jump from the barrel onto the beam. My momentum should make it swing, and then I can jump onto the I-beam, and then over here. Cool. I like these little puzzles. I mean, they're not that tricky, but you do have to think about it. It's kind of pitched right at my difficulty level. It's like there's another beam over there. I guess I'm heading that way. Let's have a quick look around, though, make sure I'm not missing anything. Can we get up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, looks like we're going across. Doesn't look, well, I think once we head down there, I'm kind of committed. I don't think I'm getting back up now. Right, what does this do? Hack the door. Oh shit, that's a lot of zerglings. So that opened the inner door and shut the outer door. Oh, maybe now they're distracted, I can jump over and jump up. Why can't I jump up? Oh shit. <laughs> no, Ginger! No. Oh, cover your eyes, kitties. Nothing to see here. 
Okay, let's try that again. I don't see why I couldn't jump up there. It was well within my capabilities, but apparently that's just not the way to do it. So, up onto the beam. And the inner door is shut, so I don't actually have to worry about... I have time to stop and think about this. So, hack the door. That shuts the outer door and opens the inner door. Okay. Now what am I supposed to do? Because I cannot jump up there. Alright. Hmm. Okay. I, I see the barrel over there. I need the barrel to get up to the place where I was trying to jump up to the first time. But, yeah, that's the problem. So, there has to be some way of trapping them inside those two gates. So let's think about this. So, up here, onto the beam. Jump down. So, the inner gate is shut. This just swaps the position of the two gates. Here come the zone. So they're trying to get at me, but they can't get at me because the outer gate is shut. The inner gate is open. So now they're all here. If I hack this door again and then quickly jump over to where they can't get me, that's reversed the position of the gates, and now they're all stuck on the opposite side. And I can take my time moving the barrel over to be able to get up to the next part. Like I said, it's not a terribly difficult puzzle. It's kind of pitched exactly at my difficulty level. I mean, this is technically a puzzle game, but the emphasis is definitely on the story rather than the puzzles. The puzzles are kind of just there to make you slow down and think about it a little. Uh, but they're not amazingly difficult, at least not so far. Right, where to now? I do not like the look of this. <laughs> That's, that's, uh, are those all zergling eggs? They're going to pop out and hatch when I drop down because, well, I'm not sure about this, Ginger. Then again, nothing's going to happen if we just sit here on this crane, so I guess we should go for it. Okay, there's a thing over there I can interact with. I should be safe up here. Yeah, the camera is focusing on those eggs. They're definitely going to go and pop the second I drop down there. So move, 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 jump, 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 jump. Oh, they didn't. Why did the camera do that? Was it just trying to shit me up? <laughs> if so, it succeeded. All right, we're going over there. Okay. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Nope, 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 nope. You cannot be serious. Alright, I guess we're going up here. Man, that's going to be a lot of zergs. Yep, the place is swarming with them. So, where am I going? I think... Yoo-hoo! This way! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump up, across, made it. Now what? There's another one of those swinging beams. But how do I get to it? Now they can, yes, they can jump up here, so let's not stick around. This is about as high as they can make it. Ah, there we go. And up, and we've done it. Right. What now? So there's a pile of zergs inside that caged area up ahead. And I'm seeing a barrel, which I'm probably going to need. So I'm going to need to get them out of the caged area and then the cage door shut in order to be able to use the barrel without getting swarmed by zerglings. So, let's have a look around. They all seem to be in there. There don't seem to be any out here. And it looks like there's another memory over there, so let's go and investigate that first. 
Oh, the Nico Corporate. Oh, I get it. Nico's Japanese for cat. Koni nami, 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 Have you heard that? No, never mind. Right. It's not solving the problem. I can see that there's a beam above this place, which is clearly what I need to move the barrel over to. But first, I need to get all of them out. Jump down, hack the door again. And... Oh, oh, damn it. One of them made it. No! Piss off! You little zergling bastard. Wrong. Oh, it's gone. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now I can drop down. Once I'm absolutely sure there are no more of those little bastards in here with me. I think we're good. Oh shit, no, it's still there. <laughs> Where did it go? It's chasing me. Start off. I'm going to squish you. Right. Yeah, we're good. Fine. So, now that all the zerglings are either squished or safely on the other side of the gate, I'm going to push the barrel over to the gate, use the barrel to jump onto the beam, and continue going upwards. More zerglings over there. Here they come. Oh, see, I can more easily jump across than they can. So that was easy. Keep going up. There's another beam. Is that a crossover? And this kind of looks like we're nearly there. So I suspect something's going to happen when I activate. Oh, there it is. There's the lift. It's moving really, really slowly though, isn't it? Oh shit, here they come. <laughs> Run, Ginger. Run for your life. I mean, again, there are plenty of obstacles here that you can negotiate as a cat. Way better than the little Zergons can. You have to be sure they don't catch you. Oh, crap, they keep coming. No, 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 go, 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 Ginger, run, 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 Ginger, run faster than that. Dodge. No, no, that's not dodging. Dodge the other way. I zigged one, I should have zagged. Oh, the lift's here. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there. Sheesh, that was nasty. Right. Going up. I've seen other people do that and they basically just ran the zerglings around the edge and made them when the zerglings jumped at the cat they dodged and the zerglings fell at their doom over the edge. The thing is they just keep coming. At some point you have to get into the elevator or they will keep coming. Done. This looks like the top of the building. Well, the door's not going to open. Ah, oh, shit. Now what? Oh, it's alright. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a cat. I've got this. Don't ask how I managed to carry a transceiver twice my own size and weight all the way up here. <laughs> it's not important. Stop asking questions and just shut up and watch the story. Actually, it's more like three times my own size and weight. <laughs> Look, I said stop asking questions. Just watch the pretty kitty in the pretty city. I'm not entirely sure what it is that we've achieved here. We've turned a radio on. I don't even know what they're transmitting, but... Nevertheless, I feel a sense of accomplishment. And I think 
while we enjoy the trip back down to Momo's apartment. I think that's where we're going to end things today. Seems like a good spot. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you're all having a great weekend. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.